Okay, tell me what you think sounds more powerful. A, Core Voice is in the top 20% of all the companies in its category. B, Core Voice is in the top 10 of all the 50 companies in its category. Mathematically the same, but you tell me what you think sounds more powerful. Welcome to yet another episode of Core Insights. And in this episode, I am sharing an interesting insight from a paper published in 2018 in the American Journal of Marketing called Format Neglect, how the use of numerical versus percentage rank claims influences consumer judgment. So the authors did a bunch of surveys, mostly with college students to understand when it makes sense to use percentage when making a ranking related claim and when it makes sense to use just a number like uh, top 20 of 200 instead of saying top 10%. In one of the experiments that they did, they split about 200 students in four groups. One group was told that GLS, a fictional company, was among the top 20 of 50 products in its category. While the other group was told, the second group was told that GLS was among top 40%. Mathematically the same, but when these participants, group 1 and group 2, they were asked to rate GSL overall. Those who heard top 20 of 50, they rated GLS almost 7 on 10 while those who heard top 40% rated it less than 5 on 10. So the third group was told that GLS was amongst top 200 of 500 products in its category and the fourth group was said that it was amongst top 40% of uh, 500 products in its category. Again, mathematically all of them are the same, top 40%. Now in this particular case, when the third and the fourth groups were asked to rate GLS, those who heard top 200 of 500, they rated GLS a little less than 5 on a, five, on a 10 point scale. While those heard top 40% in 500, they rated GLS more than 6 on 10. So the overall conclusion by a bunch of these experiments was that when the range in which you are ranking is less than 100, it makes more sense to not use percentages. In fact, to the extent that let's say in a class of 50, if you are uh, rank 10 and there's another one who is rank 15, if as a rank 10, you say that you are in the top 20% of the class and as the rank 15, they say that they are 15 of top 50. 15 of top 50 actually carries a higher perception of the overall ranking than 20% of 50, even when technically 20% of 50, 10 is actually a better rank. And one of those experiments also proved that. So yeah, found this interesting and wanted to share with you in this episode of Core Insights. At Core Voice, because we are using branding, marketing and growth strategies to help startups, we are always extremely curious about these small minor things of how a change in language, a change in saying things, a change in copy influences how uh, my brand is perceived, etc, etc. See you in another episode of Core Insights with some other insight maybe.